And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Um, so last time we finished getting all the Waldies finally. This time we are going back to Forgo Dreams to uh, get what is left of the soul pieces here. We got all of them in Forgo Plans and Forgo Bay so far. Now we're on to, For to Forgo Park. In every stage from here, we have some pieces to find. So there is one left here. Also, it is super cool that you actually tell me this. And just to just as a reminder, yes, you are allowed to tell me where these things are. The backseating allowed flag is enabled for this stream. I'm not usually going to have it on, but uh, for this, I definitely will. Yeah, that's one I already had. Come on. Ow. Oh wait, there's uh, some blocks back there. I already got that one too. Dang. Hmm. There's a secret spot there. So now we're at the end of this area, and we still have not found the remaining soul piece. So that's, uh, that's not promising. I'm welcome to some suggestions on anything that uh, I might have missed here. Like if there's one like off in a corner somewhere or I have to like fall off a ledge halfway. I don't think I can destroy these guys. Yeah, no, I can't.
Any suggestions, guys? Or if not, anyone want to look this up? Because I don't really know. Like a crack in the floor, maybe that I've missed. It's like real easy to miss or something. I don't think I can go in there now. One second, guys. Can I not do I used to be able to do that that way. There. All right, I have no idea. I got nothing. Nobody else has given me anything to go on. Yeah, I don't know what else to check. So we got them all here, so. Oh, this guy again. Here's what I think of you. Now that I don't have to worry about getting hit. Three pieces.
So we're at a deficit of one. So that would, assuming that we would have gotten that one, um, these three pieces was, would take us to 50. There's a pretty high likelihood that if there are three pieces that we need to get here, uh, it's probably a bunch, like a pack of three. Not sure where everyone went there. Oh, there is a pack of three there. Uh, but there can be multiple packs of three. And no, I'm pretty sure I missed this one too. Unless it's over here. Did I come over here last time? I probably didn't. Nope, there it is. Hey, J Pop, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. I see. Well, it uh, it's not something that you do very often, so it's fine. Okay. That was the one that I missed. Eh. Cut. Not so much need to worry about those, honestly.
What do you say about here? And got all the pieces? All right. So I just need to get to that uh, warp star. Ow. All right, I need to get to that warp star again. Oh, there's a switch over here. There we go. There we go, that lowers that wall. So then we can just go over the wall. And there we go. Oh, I lost my I lost my extra bar. Well, that's sad. Fortunately, there isn't uh, there isn't like a soul piece for not taking any damage, so I'm not gonna need to worry about that again. I'm still not good at dodging, by the way. Come on. <sighs> and now I'm just being careless. Just because I can get hit doesn't mean I should get hit. So we're still missing two there. I'll cut back to the stage. Oh, we're missing one there. Never mind. We're still, yeah, we're missing one in the first area. Oh, new one. Illusory fronds, phantom tropic woods. This phantom in the form of tropic woods has grown mysteriously strong in the illusory sunlight of Forgo dreams. Do you think its coconuts are illusions too? I wonder what they taste like. That's four more to the count. On to Forgo Wasteland, 
four soul pieces left. It's okay, I'm sure Leon Gar doesn't need that bit of soul. Alright, so we got all the soul pieces here. I can just rush through this part. And of course, by rush through this through this part, I definitely mean like a fool. And got all the pieces here too. So once again, just going to be a complete buffoon. Probably a good idea to get this uh this water pipe out. That's probably going to be here, isn't it? No? We got all the pieces. All right. Completely wasn't paying attention to the fact that that was purple goo. Oh right, this first one I have to actually get the correct thing. Woo! Get bent! And the rest of these I don't need to worry about, I believe. Just the first one, it makes me do the thing. Can you please? What about here? Okay, only one piece left. Where is it?
It is probably not that one. Yeah, I already had that one. Yeah. Wasn't that one either. Dang. Now I already have that one too. Oh, I probably didn't kill that guy. Well, there we go. And now I've just got to get to the end. Come on, there we go. Wait, what? Oh, I was getting ahead of myself. All right. So I still have three here, and they're probably going to be a bunch. Maybe I missed this over here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's all of them for this area for real this time. 49 out of 49. Ow. And over there is probably something to put out this fire, but uh, we are not going to need it. Oh, we're fighting Silly Dillo again. All right. And we immediately get hit. 
because this is effectively EX silly demo. Dang. Like he straight up does not stop in this uh in this phantom fight. There we go. Ooh. I do not fancy my odds when it comes to um, doing the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny here. Yay. That's one more stage done. Only three stages left to clear in the entire game. Time for the Forgo Zone. Five uh, soul pieces to get here. Let's do it. What say you, Alphalyn? You say we got everything here. Excellent. I super appreciate the fact that they just tell you, like, yeah, you got everything here. You don't need to worry about it again. Oh, there's one missing here, so just be on the lookout for a single one that you haven't gotten yet. Time to redo everything as Luigi. Can you imagine? Yeah, there's one soul piece left here.
and as previously, any input on where that might be is appreciated. I realize that they're kind of hard to look up because, you know, which ones have I gotten, which ones have, have I not gotten yet, you know? But, uh... God dang it. Get out of here. Hey, I see a bomb block down there. Well, that one looks lit up. There we go. Well, that's it for my, uh, that's it for my extra bar of health. Although I do have the option of using my amiibo, so at least there's that. What about here? So there is a bunch of three. More than likely a bunch of three. Once again, I don't know for sure, but if there are three left, it's probably not three separate ones. Dang. This conveyor is going so fast. Can I go behind here? I can go behind here, but there's nothing here for me other than like certain death or likely death at the very least. I see you there. Oh! Okay, no, that's the rare stone, and I already got it. Oh, here it is. So I need to figure out how to open that up. Hmm. We're looking for either a switch. Oh, there is a switch. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I need to do that. There we go. Or missing one for the stage. Hey, not what I wanted to do. 
Actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn off Auto Swallow again. Get out of there. There we go. Okay, so now that that little onslaught is done, is it going to be before, during, or after this, uh, this little joy ride here? Well, there should be a uh, a retry star at the end of this, so. Ow. Oh, it's going to be to get all of these, isn't it? Oh. Dang. Friggin' troll game. No, it's not gonna be to get all of these because that gives me three and I'm looking for one. Ah, uh, maybe I haven't been here. There we go. And there we go. That is all 51 in this area. Also a secret spot here for more treasure. Yes, Alphalyn, we, we've got all the pieces of Leon stolen this entire stage. Don't worry about it. Huh. You actually have to cut to come at that with uh with a full complement of water, I guess. Oh, we already have all the um we we got all the things, so we don't need to get them again. I 
I do find this little gimmick fun here. That's just like you you take um you take the game's general gimmick and just use it to absolutely wreck every single mini boss. Expert swordsmanship there. And uh, who is going to be the boss here? It's got to be Waldi. Uh, Waldi. It's got to be King Dedede. Oh dear. Evil bandana waddle dee. Oh, geez. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and use my amiibo. Okay. There we go. And that's another stage clear.
<laughs> I'll be honest. He looks a little silly doing his, his little victory dance with that mask on. <clears throat> Did I skip one? Oh, yeah, I did. My bad. Let's go to Forgo Horns. Yes, I know how to quick search game. <laughs> Listen, Tyrion. Never said I had a good sense of direction. You know what? Oh, really? All right. Because they were both um, Poppy brothers. I did not get mixed. I just straight up got bomb. I wonder if I had gotten all three of them though. If it if then I would have gotten mixed. So yeah, I already got them all in this place. So I don't need to get them all again this time. Okay, and I do remember an actual issue that I was having in this area where one of them tends to be frozen. See, that one there is frozen. We can't get it. Uh, did we leave a uh, hammer dude behind? Yes, we did. So we basically have to make like three passes through this stage, or, yeah. Well, we, we have to go forward through the stage anyway, I'm pretty sure. Because we are going to need to find a fire dude. Or not. Hammer can do fire, you're right. Why did I not think of that? Of course the hammer can do fire. At least, at the very least, this level of hammer can do fire. I, th I think, like, level three can also do fire. I guess I could have tried again to get Mix, but uh, at least I've already shown off Mix in the series, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, thank you, Tyrion, for pointing out that I am indeed a derp. Amber can, of course, do fire. It didn't need a fire ability. It makes it more straightforward. But sure enough. There we go.
Now I'm still missing two. Oh, there's a. Did I not go over here? I guess not. Let's get this capsule. There we go. Hey, what say you? We have everything here. Excellent. Whatever. Let's just go. Thank you. Right, I keep forgetting no ability is effective against charging bull. Alpha and report. Three pieces. All right. Cool. Got that one already. Got that one already. Oh, right. Now I remember. Yeah. They show up throughout this whole battle. There we go. And a single wild frosty to round things off. Thank you for the pepper. Oh, 
And there we go. So this time I got all of them, and the last one is right over here. And sure enough, it is indeed a bunch of three. One left. I almost feel like the move here, if I miss it, considering that this is basically like this game's version of an auto scroll, is to just take the death. And then I'll go back to the start of this area, right? Dang. Already had that one. Already had that one. There we go. And that's the one I was missing. I took a hit there, but that's okay. I think we're approaching the boss here, so I should be getting a Max and Tomato. Let's go ahead and grab Buzzsaw Cutter here. And uh, now we're fighting regular DDD. Yeah, this is a bit silly, not gonna lie. Rawr. Come on. Quit being a butt. Okay, was not expecting that. Should have been expecting that.
Yeah, I'm going to need to do, like, a lot better at these bosses because, uh... I'm going to need to fight all of them in a row with very limited health restore. Which, by the way, um, more than likely, like if we're not finishing this tonight, we almost definitely are going to be finishing Ukulele on Tuesday <clears throat> with probably a fair bit of time to spare. So that remainder of time, I'm probably going to spend on this game. And if we if we somehow finish both games, then I'll probably just do some uh, Smash TV speedruns until the end of the stream. <laughs> Blast top space ranger, fire laser beams from your trusty laser gun. If a fully charged shot hits an enemy, they'll be caught in a flurry of sparks and take extra damage. So all we have left is that one that I left behind in the first... Uh, <clears throat> In the first area of Forgo Park. So this is one that we might have to look up unless someone knows exactly where it is. So yeah, these here are pretty obvious. You see a uh, breakable floor and you think, oh, well, there's probably going to be um soul piece there. And yes, indeed, there are, but uh, there's still one somewhere that is eluding me. Dang. And it's not going to be this one, because that's actually three. Yeah. Well, there goes my extra bar. And there's this here. So I already got that one. I like a, a secret passage in one of these. Well, that seems a little obtuse, even for a Kirby game. There's a secret spot there. Hmm. 
And that gives us this bunch of three. But we still have one left somewhere in this area, and I have no idea where. I the I can't go any farther here, so I can't like halfway fall down the ledge and there it is. There isn't a uh, water pipe here, so I can't do water mouthful and clean up that goop and uh, it'd be hidden under that. I'm pretty sure I've touched all of these flower buds and nothing there either. I don't think it would just be like a thing of, oh, you got to kick this specific sign or kick like these specific objects in order to make the thing appear because that's way too obtuse for a Kirby game. Unless it's, unless it's like clearly signposted. Is there another like secret spot on top of one of these? Like, does anyone have any suggestions? Because I don't know. Can I go behind this? I can go behind this. But that doesn't give me anything. Like, is it in here? Somehow? There's not a secret spot there. I can go behind here, but there's nothing there. But I straight up don't know. If it, if it's something that is obvious to someone else, like, I'm not seeing it. Like, not at all. No, I didn't want to do that. All right, well, I'm out of ideas. Let's, I'm going to have to look it up. Um, yeah, I've done that, done that, done that. Oh, um, somehow missed that. Huh. It 
If it is this one, I'm good. I'm just gonna feel pretty foolish. There's a metal crate right over here. Yeah, sure enough. All right, let's hightail it through the rest of the stage, and uh, that will be it for Forgo Dreams. Yeah, Alpha and we we have all of them now. You don't have to keep telling me. Also, I didn't know that if I charge up my sword, um, it kind of like expands. Uh. Well, you know what? It's past midnight now. Which means I can use it again, right? Yep. Now, I'm not sure if it is like a once per day per amiibo limit. I'm reasonably sure it is so. Dang. Well, like, I haven't actually tried using it a second time in the same day. Second time in the same stream after midnight, yes. Too lazy to try amiibo things with the two amiibos you have. Man. I only have the one amiibo. Uh, whether or not it has to be a uh, Kirby amiibo specifically, but it does depend on the game. So, like some games will have rewards for any amiibo but will have additional rewards if they are, like, series-related. And some other games will just not have a reward at all unless it is an amiibo from that series. Like, I know I've played, like, the, um, the Switch port of Diablo 3. And, um, I tried my Kirby Amiibo, the only one I have, in that game, and it does have an effect, but it's probably not a very good effect in, like, the grand scheme of things.
Yeah, let's go with more Fortnite. Freaking. Give me like a second, holy crap. Also, why is every single attack that's landing um, taking out my ability? And another one of these. Oh my goodness, I'm terrible at this. Ah, uh, one hit left. Ha <laughs> ha! Action shot to finish off. There we go, that's the last one. And Leon's soul is now complete. Boom. You have collected all the pieces of Leon's soul. As proof of your courage, you've earned a special figure. Boom. Leon and Carol, these two were the famous leaders of the Animal Kingdom until Leon found IDF-86. After that, he began speaking in a language Carol couldn't understand, she only speaks in meows, and formed the Brutal Beast Pack. She still believed him in him, so she formed a new identity of her own and followed along. So, sounds a little bit like the story of uh, the Team Rocket Meowth. Just a little bit, although the, well, a little bit of a script flip from that one, anyway. Anyway, back to all the detail. We might gotch the last ones we need. I don't think so. Uh, let's take a look at what uh, what we got here. So we're still missing uh, 14 volume ones. A bunch of volume twos. But 45 volume threes. 
We're missing a crap ton. I do wish that it would let you, like, buy multiples. I'm gonna go until I get three duplicates. Pop flower. That's another duplicate. So on to volume two. Order of sushi. Race car. Tub of popcorn. Wild Edge. The mysterious vortex brought Gigant Edge to the New World too. They arrived before Kirby and fell in with the ranks of the Beast Pack. Despite the wild wardrobe change, they really stand out among the among the rest of the pack. But they're still they'll still guard their stations with ferocity. A knock knock nut. Rolling Star Rocket. That's two duplicates now. Hammer! A sturdy hammer with intense attack power. Your reach is short, but it's worth it to bonk enemies and stakes. Hold the button to charge, then let go to do a hammer flip. And there's Bomber. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire metal arch into his mouth. This form turns uh, turns you into a graceful glider that soars on the wind. Steer through tight steer through tight spaces and use your spin tackle to swat away enemies. Enjoy your flight. Handmade dance partner. <laughs> okay, that's what we're calling that, huh? Star coin pile, okay. Animal snow sculpture. Scissor lift. No duplicates in this category so far. There's our first one. His royal nemesis, King DDD. King DDD arrived in the New World shortly before Kirby and his friends. It looked like he joined forces with the Beast Pack, but that's no excuse for his mistreatment of the Waddle Dees. His iconic gown seems to have been altered to match his newfound allegiance, and he seems way, way stronger somehow. The mysterious power of not being able to swallow things. To swallow some things. Lock ring. Also a hunk of meat before. Loaf of French bread. Stairs, that's our second duplicate this category. And Stairs Mouth Kirby. Now he can stuff an entire set of scaffold stairs into his mouth. Move the stairs around to access hard to reach spots. You can also tip yourself over to crush enemies. Wham! Naughty. Roast chicken. And there is our third duplicate. Now for the most expensive of them all. King of the Beast, Leon Gar. He assists the powerful commander of the ferocious beast pack. He's become a pawn for an, an invading specimen from beyond the stars, tasked with gathering, gathering food, capturing the wild to use as a power source, and most importantly, Retrieving the lost subspecimen tagged as IDF-87. Here's our first duplicate. Big Red Torchilding. The aggressive boss of all Torchildings dwells within the Forbidden Zone of Redgar. When this hothead finds a suitably sweltering spot, it stays put. It's reckless with its attacks, shooting chunks of concrete out of its mouth to hit faraway enemies. Deep Sleep 
Hmm. Walk to bed and get all cuddly cozy. You'll show everyone your full potential after you wake up. Morpho Night Sword. Before the final battle, a fluttering fiend arrives to cast its judgment. This, danger, this dangerous weapon grants that form to any who wield it. For Kirby, for Kirby, handling this power is a breeze. One might say a, a spring breeze. Leon didn't have a whole lot of imagination if his great new name was just adding Gar to his real name. Mast hammer, the self-proclaimed king's hard uh, king's hard-hitting hammers are now yours. Let the power of the mast take over to unleash devastating attacks with a fiery flourish. The ranger's great discovery: the new world is filled with danger and temptation. Any unexpected detour during your adventure could lead to a mountain of treasure. How many other surprises are hiding out there? There's only one way to find out. There's our second duplicate. Illusory Leopard, Phantom Claroline. The real Claroline asked Kirby to help her save Leongar. This Phantom Feline is a fake. Formed from negative thoughts and powerful psychic energy, this wild beast doesn't seem to care about Leongar at all. She may be an illusion, but her claws will cause real damage. Twin Drill. Unleash brutal attacks with double the drill power. Your speed and damage are both increased, and you can attack enemies above you while still burrowing below. And there's our second, our third duplicate. Pretty good haul, honestly. And we're still missing a bunch of stuff. But uh, I feel like most of this stuff I'm probably better off, like, off-screening. Because it's just going to be a lot of um, grinding, pretty much. I don't want to buy from you. I want to work for you. All right, hustle gig. Time for the Commodore hustle. Dang. Uh-oh. It's lunch rush time. Oh, and I missed too many times. All right, let's keep on trying. He might be the hero of the stars, but that doesn't mean he has good customer service skills. Ah! Oh my goodness.
No! Only had a couple of seconds left. I can see, Tyrion, why you, you don't have the uh, the hard the hard mode uh, thing for this. I don't know if there's also like a score threshold to hit. No! I was down to one second! Ah! I wish you would start in the middle, Kirby. Okay, if I'm gonna fail that early, I'm just gonna retry. Like, that's the thing, like, you can quick retry this, but you can't do it for bosses or stages. Okay. No wrong orders. 31 consecutives. 82% satisfaction. 5,030 points. All right, time for frenzy mode. <laughs> Can you survive the, the lunch rush of doom? Probably not. Nope. Like, make up your minds. Just tell me what you want. Okay. 
Holy crap, this is going quickly. What is that? No wonder you don't have that, Tyrion. What the crap was that? I wonder if we can find any, like, present codes or something. Look at that Hemkin Chonker. Sorry. Hey, buddy. Cause like they they keep saying like oh you can find present codes hidden all over town but we we found one like where are they supposed to be hidden Do you have one? Hey, buddy. You're going to be just out of reach, huh? All right. Is there a friend code in your, or a, a present code in your book there, buddy? <laughs> oh, whatever. Let's go ahead and play Kirby Tilt and Tumble. All right, I have to physically tilt my Switch Pro controller for this. Well, that was easy. Oh dear. What is this? Dang.
There we go. Whew. That's another figure under our belt. Oh no. Well done, Kirby. You've cleared every difficulty of my game. I knew you would. And that's why I've been preparing a special challenge just for you. It's the ultimate test of skill. I call it Tilt and Roll Kirby Extra Hard. It's all set up, so just approach the booth and press A to play the, to play the new difficulty. You can switch back to the easier mode by pressing X on the selection screen. Oh, and I have one more surprise for you. Here's a special figure as a reward for unlocking the extra hard difficulty. Way to wobble. Game Shop Waddle Dee. Step right up, step right up. This Waddle Dee runs the town's favorite game, Tilt and Roll Kirby. The other Waddle Dees love to play his game. In fact, they wouldn't stop asking him for more. That might explain why he added the daunting extra hard difficulty. I trust it's still one coin to play. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now we're adding Gordos to the mix. Oh, it's still it's five coins to play. We're adding Gordos to the mix. And there's also an extra prize for clearing in 20 seconds, which I probably need to get because there's a checkbox there. There we go. It's a bit reckless there, but uh managed to get the uh the time mark. Can I switch between them here now? Dang. Uh. At least money isn't really much of an object for uh, for Kerbo right now. Ah. Uh. There we go. Well within time, too. Look at that. There in 30 seconds, 999 coins. Look at that. All right. Okay. It's probably about timing when you're going to start to.
Ah, so close. Got this. Hurrying too much here is the problem. I don't need to hurry quite this much. Like, if I make it through that first part quick, then I can just literally wait for the Gordo to pass by here. <sighs> and take a little bit more time to make it to the end. That was poor timing to get here, though. Well, that was just careless. Dang. All right. See, I'm not really getting mad at this, though. Like... I am failing a lot, but I'm not getting mad at it because one, it feels like a doable challenge, and two, it's very little punishment for falling off. Like there, there is no fanfare, there is nothing. It just poof, you're done. Give us another five coins, try again. Dang. And every attempt doesn't really take all that long. It's like 15 seconds or so, if that. <sighs> well, it's probably not entirely entertaining to watch. Okay, I Wait, rebalance. There we go. I need to be more patient here. Because I am making a really good time on this first part, right? When I can make it through. It does cost five coins every time, but I mean, 
I have 18,000 coins. I'm not worried. Okay, I'm going to wait here. Dang. Okay, I have plenty of time. Duh. trying to beat that Gordo there and it didn't work out. I haven't fallen in that hole yet. Too fast. Ah, oh, man. No idea what that noise was. It's probably fine. Ugh. Rebalance. That didn't help. I'm getting this darn thing. That's that's is this gonna be the nature of uh of this uh of this stream here? Gonna be a like end or bust of just doing this for for the next two hours. And I guarantee you one thing right now, it's not. I have time. 
There we go. 21 and three quarter seconds. All of that loss has been recouped. Who? Whoa, you cleared all the extra hard difficulty. Really? I guess that's not a huge surprise. Your adventures here must make this seem like a piece of cake. Here, Kirby, you deserve another prize for clearing extra hard. Have some rare stones on me. And three rare stones are ours. It's hoping for a figure, but you know, rare stones are good too. So I think at this point it's just going to be the ultimate cup, right? But um, unfortunately, we are kind of out of time, so... Let's head back to the tile screen, and I forgot to check how much percentage we're at now. So let's do that before we leave. 91%. We gained a percent. Maybe 2% today. Fantastic. Anyway, um... Yeah, that's going to be the stream for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Hang, in, hang around and we will go raid Cessball, who is continuing her run of Death Stranding. The next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle, where we are going to do some more of that archipelago shenaniganry uh, in preparation for next week when 0.3.2 come out and two new games are made available to us. Um, the next stream after that is going to be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is going to be the normal long run stream where we're probably going to be finishing um, Ukulele to 100%. At least that's the plan. We'll see how well that goes, considering how big the stages are. And uh, if we do have time after that, we will come back to Kirby in the Forgotten Land and uh, do some attempts at the Ultimate Cup. Uh, and that brings us around the week, round the wheel. Are we going to have a stream on Saturday? I'm not sure. Uh, because I don't have anything else planned for Saturday, so... This might, might be the last Saturday stream in a little bit, but do stand by. I'm going to be posting in the usual places if I do do a stream on Saturday. Also, uh, Wednesday, by the way, at 4 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, I'm going to do Code Creator again. I have something to do for Code Creator, so... We're going to get back on that programming track and um, should be an interesting experience. It's something that I have tried to do before, but kind of failed miserably. So, yeah. There you go. Um, so thank you to everyone who was here. We had Tyrion, we had Zinfandel, we had Jewel, we had Sin Guy for a little bit. And thank you for the raid, J-Pop. That's going to do it. I'm cool here if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.